This is an Author Stories podcast how-to video. Today, we're looking at how to make Microsoft Word behave more like Scrivener. In a recent episode of the Author Stories podcast, we interviewed Josh Hayes. Josh talked about the art of outlining and how he uses Scrivener specifically to lay out his story ahead of time so that he knows exactly what he's writing each time he comes to the page. Josh talked about his love of Scrivener and how the binder especially helps him to keep his uh, project managed and how to lay out each scene in the book. I mentioned that you could do the same thing with Microsoft Word, just using uh, the navigation pane and custom styles. So let's look at some of those. As you see right here, I'm starting with a, uh, a title, New Novel. And if you click the button right here by styles, you can see that I've set up some, uh, some custom styles. I've got one called section right here. And if we right click on that and we go to modify, you can see that it is based on heading one. And I've just given it a custom name uh, called section. Uh, I have uh, set the font to courier new, which is what I like to write in. And I've set it to 14 point font and we'll just click OK there. Uh, Underneath that, I've just got uh, regular text here in the uh, normal uh, style right there. And that would just be anything that you that you type in your document. And then under that, you can see in the hierarchy in the navigation pane, I've got chapter one. And that's just uh, text that I typed there. And I used the the chapter style. And if you right click on chapter style and go to modify, you can see that it's based on heading two and I'm using courier new 12 and courier uh, 12 is what I like to write in uh, the section one from earlier. I gave it a 14 point font just to make it uh, a little bigger. So then we've got chapter two and we also have uh, characters at the bottom here. Characters, as you, if you'll notice, is a section heading like we said earlier and if you go to modify you see that that again is a heading one so if we close these over here you can see that in the hierarchy I've got the title new novel and that's going to be everything in my manuscript that falls under that and then I've got characters under here so that I could start uh, as I'm writing and a new character comes in and I want to track those and write down uh, little little snippets about that character then I can do that I can just put them in like I've got Bob Luke Annie and President Bartlett uh, Bob here if you uh, right click that you can see that that is a scene style and what that does if we modify that uh, that's based on a heading three so if we look over here under our manuscript we've got the chapters chapter one chapter two and these are scenes within there uh, under characters I'm just using the same hierarchy so that you can see that it falls in line the right way but under scene if we go to modify we see that this is a heading three. So over here on the left, we've got uh, the main sections where we designate the manuscript and the characters. And we could also, you know, put in settings and uh, things like that under there and give those that that heading one. Uh, our chapters are heading two. Excuse me. Our chapters, uh, they are heading two. If you go under chapter and you look at that, that is a based on a heading two. And then we have scenes within the chapter. And so the uh, the opening scene uh, and then the airplane crash, those are two different scenes that we're uh, going to write into. So what we were talking about in that interview on the Author Stories podcast was that in the binder and Scrivener, you can create chapters and scenes. And you could just give those titles. And as you're kind of planning out what you're going to be writing for the day, maybe for the week, or if you have an idea of the entirety of your story, you can break that down by scenes, give it a simple title. And then as you work that out, you can build an outline of sorts. And sometimes for people that hate outlining like I do, it gives the feeling uh, that you are organizing your book. You're getting ideas of where it's going without feeling like you're, uh, you know, back in seventh grade having to to write an outline for school. Uh, it makes it super simple to plan out what's coming up next. Uh, and one one thing that I, I get from Scrivener lovers is they say, well, well, what you get in the binder is the 
ability to grab those uh, scenes and move them around effortlessly without having to go copy and paste big hunks of text in Microsoft Word. Well, let me show you guys something over here. So if we want to say uh, right now, we've got in chapter two that President Bartlett's going to hold a press conference about this alien invasion. Well, what happens if we want to open the book with the president's press conference? We can just grab that and move it right up here in chapter one and bam. If we look under chapter one, now that scene is right there. Uh, after you create your scenes, you can, uh, since this is a scene heading, you can just uh, create a new line and set that to normal and uh, you know start typing your 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 document in there. Uh, so. Don't listen when people say that you have to have a particular piece of software just to allow you to move things around. Uh, you can do that right in Microsoft Word. If you're a professional writer or you are uh, wanting to be a writer, Microsoft Word is an application that you need to have uh, anyway. If you're going to be working with an editor, and you should, you need to have Word because uh, the track changes uh, feature is going to be really, really important as you're getting comments from your editor and sending a manuscript back and forth. It's the industry standard. Uh, it's that way for a reason. Uh, you know, there are lots of pieces of software you can write in. Uh, but if you're going to be a professional writer, you need professional tools. And Microsoft Word uh, is the gold standard. I hope this has helped. And, uh, you know, play around with those custom styles you can hit the drop down box here you can create a style when you go in there uh you know just give it a name uh like uh we'll we'll call one settings and uh once you have settings i, I could have just hit the modify button where we were uh but uh where did settings go right here we can right click and modify and we can give that uh we can base that on an existing style but if we want that to be uh, like a heading two uh, then we can choose the font that we want to use for that style. And then every time you click that style, these things are assigned to that automatically. And say we want to give that courier new 12 and we want the font color uh, to be black and uh, click OK. And now we have a new style available for us. And all we have to do is just click that when we highlight text. I hope this video has been helpful. Uh, go to the Author Stories Podcast at HankGarner.com. We do author interviews every day of the week with the best writers writing out there, uh, full of writing advice, motivation, inspiration. It's all there at HankGarner.com. Thanks for listening.